Now, the Idaho National Laboratory celebrates its 60th anniversary this year. Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer McGraw begins an in-depth look into nuclear energy, when it all began, and where it was first discovered. They must realize that they may have given a demonstration of a gift to the world that will provide us energy for millennia. On December 20th, 1951, a reaction occurred that would change the future of electricity. The experimental breeder reactor 1, or EBR-1, was the first to use atomic energy peacefully in the world by powering four simple light bulbs. I don't think that I realized at the time how important it was. No, I really don't. By creating a reactor that could safely handle the radioactive material and with the pioneer determination of nuclear energy, electricity flowed. Well, and then we went out there and we wired them four light bulbs to it, plugged them in and they lit up. We were generating our own power. That was the most electricity a reactor had generated anywhere in the world at that point. The experimental breeder reactor 1 used uranium atoms to create a reaction that made steam to turn wind turbines making electricity. It's called a breeder reactor because it actually creates more fuel than the reactor burns. See, we thought there were very limited supplies of uranium around the world, so this was a way to extend the uranium supplies was by operating as breeder reactors. Years later, uranium deposits were found across the world, and the emphasis on breeder reactors shifted. At the time, the U.S. was saying, you know, here is a virtually unlimited power supply that we're going to going to deploy, we're going to have all of, the, all of this electricity. But when those, those grand expectations came about, there were, were other things that hadn't been thought of. Then focusing on costs and safety issues, questions that continue to plague the future of nuclear energy in the U.S. And this was very small. There wasn't a lot of room for modification. So by 64, they had done everything they could with this reactor. EBR-1 now operates solely as a museum. But nonetheless, it was a success as the birthplace of atomic power. And as a result, uranium reactors generate 20% of the electricity produced in the United States. There's no doubt in my mind that the technology that these people demonstrated December 20th, 1951, will in fact be one of the true historical accomplishments uh, that we've ever seen. Other major milestones followed quickly. Proof that nuclear reactors could produce or breed more fuel than they consume lighting the first American city with nuclear-generated electricity. A big idea that switched on four light bulbs, changing the world. Jennifer McGraw, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right here in our backyard. Well, tomorrow night at 10, what happened after EBR-1 and what advances the INL has made in nuclear energy since then?